quiet this time. Bored? Then go ask that uniform what he's doing here. Or tell him to skidoo. Hey, fancy pants! Fuck off! Hang on, hang on. You lost, officer? Hang on! That's the mama's boy of Shrudmeshche. I was wondering when they'd be holding fights again in the dungeon. Your face itching, mama's boy? Now we've got some kind of scrap to set up. They dubbed me the son of Shrudmeshtia, if I remember correctly. Easy enough to check. Hang on, hang on! That's enough! You! You're the son of a bitch of Shrutmeshche! I'm looking for Ariel Rofa. All right, I don't know. Just tell him something. Take a look at Ruzitsky Bazaar. He's got this sort of... ...geschäft there. Thanks. They're right to call this place the dungeon.
That wasn't too hard. Where do you think you're going, pretty boy? I'm looking for someone. They say he's got a business here. Do the smart thing and hit the road. Go on, fuck off. Am I wrong or are you guarding a closed butcher's store? This is Ariel Rofe's Geschäft, right? I'll check you the hell out in a minute and we'll be done. You talk just like the friend I'm looking for. I'm asking you nicely, capisce? Bid it! I'm looking for Ariel Rofe. Then you can double fuck off, you fucking dumbkopf! You'll attract more attention with that shouting. Pause on for I get my club. You are not gonna tell me how to do my job, you flippant and raggedy sod! Bid it! But I know Ariel's got his hideout here. I even know which copper's hands he greases. I don't know about no bribes, you probo... provocator... Prov <clears throat> provocator? Fuck off. I swear, I know this is Ariel's hideout. Know how to read? It says butcher's shop. Sure, it's extra kosher, because there's no meat at all in there. Come on, every bomb at Ruzic reeks of booze from this place. And when they come here, I'll tell them to fuck off. Please, I just want a word with Ariel. Ogres, how come he's still standing here mouthing off at you? It's me, Viktor. Shulski, I remember. Fuck off. So, should I give him what for, boss? Do what you want. Ariel, I've already taken one beating to find you. Boss, if I beat the bejesus out of him, will you take me to the dungeon? Then I'll make you into a second barstik. But Ogras, maybe don't take on the son of Shrutmiestia on your own, yeah? I'll call you a priest if you want.
Leave him be. I'm sorry. Come on, Shilsky. Let's get out of sight. But if anything starts shaking, I'll shoot you. Don't stare. That way. This whole butcher's shop is a cover, right? None of your business. Sit down. Tell me why you're bothering me. How exactly did you find me? Why do they call that bruiser Oguras? He's got a green pecker from untreated pox with these little bumps like on those little cocktail gherkins. I hope he gets well soon. I'll pass that on. That everything? Very inventive hiding spot. And a nice place. We've got our own little store here with different varieties. I'm just doing my best to unload it efficiently. Don't waste my time. It wasn't such a huge challenge. Who squealed? There are traces all over the dungeon. You're not being very careful. If you want something out of me, you better get to the ass-kissing part. Say what you want. I've got a certain problem, and I'd like to get rid of it quickly. Is it made of clay and weighs two tons when it shows up? So you got sick of running back and forth across Kervich Bridge? I'm not going to pretend I understand. Golems aren't great at swimming, remember? Since it's following you, going across a bridge would force it to... Forget it. I can see why you can't deal with it on your own. I need the knowledge of a Kabbalist. Your knowledge. I think I have at least a few reasons to say no, don't I? The main one is the death of my business partner and best friend. I didn't know a golem was after me. You shouldn't have shown up at the dungeon that day at all. You shouldn't have taken that job. I don't have time, Ariel. We both know that only you can help me. You can keep tormenting me, but are you going to tell me something or not? I can torment you and tell you. A golem is a salutor like any other, but housed in a physical form. Why do you attract it and bind it in the same way? So you need to discern the flaw of the person it's following, and then defeat it. Well done. The difference being that it's following blood first and the flaw second. But first you have to deprive the golem of its physical body. The shell in which the salutor is housed. You also need to know where the ritual was conducted, because that's the only place you can do it. Good luck. So, apart from my family's blood, the golem is attracted to my initial flaw, right? Initial? So how many have you got? I've got plenty. I have a really handsome number of salutors. You're lying. 
You'd have lost your mind. If you say so. How can I get rid of that clay shell it has? You can't. For that you need a Kabbalist. Moi. I know the incantation for the Berur ritual. What? Instructions for reversing the evil eye, cleansing body and soul, and hiding from the unwanted, but why should I explain them to you? I'm guessing this will cost me something. Money? A favor? A further humiliation? We'll see. I know the place the golem was summoned. The basement of Nozick Synagogue. So, so far managed to do it? Thank you. So we're going into the basement of a synagogue, where you'll use Kabbalah to strip the golem of its physical form, right? Then I'll bind it and free myself from its curse? Not quite. The golem is mine. What do you need the golem for? None of your business. You want revenge. That's very sentimental if you think about it. Another word? And you'll be looking for a new Kabbalist. Over my dead body. Very possibly. But as you said, you've got a lot of salutors. This one won't make a difference to you. And you'll never hear me say, fuck off, again. And what about my flaw? If I lose my initial flaw, I'll lose contact with my initial salutor, right? Could be yes, could be no. I don't know. Wanna find out? No. Unless you've got a long line of relatives with flaws? I've got a sister, twin, but I don't know if Ligia carries a flaw. You'd better find out if you want to get rid of the golem. Then go back to your sister and find out if she carries a flaw. I don't know. But you're hesitating. Not changing your mind, are you? There must be another way. Well, I don't know it. As a thaumaturge, you should know best of all that anything worth the effort has its price. Everybody pays. Let's wrap this up. We've got a deal. Ah. A toast? A very successful batch. We haven't shipped everything out yet. This won't make me go blind, will it? The risk is part of the fun. I'll risk it. <sighs> Ready. Let's get this over with. Godspeed. Find that flaw of Ligia's.
You seem happy. What's going on? Saturday. That's what's going on. I'm pretty sure today's not Saturday. Live your life like every day was Saturday. Listen, we've got a job coming our way just like in the good old days. You, me, and beating up some thugs. Interested? I know you are. Tell me, what kind of action have you got coming up? There's this guy, Kafar, from Ruzitz. The bastard thinks he can mess with the left bank. He and his people seized one of mine, Max. Said he owed them. He got away, but there's still bad blood. I thought I might explain a thing or two to Kafar. So, shall we go there? Why don't the ships deal with it? You offer an adventure to strengthen the bond in good faith, and this is how he treats you. I love my boys, and don't tell them that, but you've got to be nifty here and know some magic. Come to Ruzitz with me. You have my grimoire. Yes, that's what I like to hear. Come on, let's show Kafar we mean business. I won't have anyone going after my people for some imaginary debts. Look how beautiful it is. The babble of fishwives, the cursing of longshoremen, and there, marshmallows are being cut on a chopping block. Oh, and there my dad used to have a stall. Well, never mind. Where do we find that wise guy? There, in a shack in the southeast. His people usually stand by the entrance. Let's go then. But you go with the ships and lock Ruzitz so that Kafar knows this is serious. And so that none of those bastards get away. I can't let you stick your neck out for me, boss. Not just me. It won't be the first time we beat on some knaves with Victor. We have some experience in getting rid of wicked men. And bigger ones, too. Lone sharks. The whole town was in Mieszko Setsemin's pocket. Everyone was afraid to look him in the eyes. But not me, and not Victor. We rid Warsaw of that scumbag. So don't you worry. Kafar is a piece of cake for us. Go on, close the gates. On it, boss. Today, my dear Victor, we will embark on a sentimental journey. A long, long time ago in the Mermaid City lived a brute, the leader of 40 thief... grafters, keeping order at Ruzitz. Let me guess, we are the righteous warriors who will teach him a lesson, right? You know it! We are some helpful bastards, aren't we? You seem to be in awfully good mood. Well, sure. It's just like the old days, isn't it? You and me against the world. Old pals pledge their loyalty, their voices like a sling projector. Besides, the Ruzitz lads are really fun to smack around. Oh wait, speak of the devil. Here they are. Let the fun begin. What do you think you're doing? Closing the gates, kicking up a shindy? You shouldn't show up here, Nijits. Yes, I know. You're intimidated by the sight of an intellectual. It's time to write the first chapter of today's tale on these ruddy mugs. I will call it The Pilgrim and the Poet Cave.
Oh, Victor, that was truly exquisite. Can you smell the aroma of Madeleine wafting through the air? When he smacked the tallest one, I almost shed a tear. And this is just chapter one. Time for chapter two? Sure thing. And we can do anything we want in it. It just has to end with us paying Kafar a visit. After all, I'm on official business here. This is our time, Victor. And time is like a little partridge, running fast as fuck. We need to take advantage of that. Follow me. One scum queen awaits in a tower. Lead the way. Hold on, scumbags! I'm talking to you! What did we do to deserve that kind of treatment from the authorities? Authorities? What authority? He's just the corrupt copper. You must have a death wish, you lice-ridden mongrel! Lovely. Another one to be made into mincemeat. Let's go, Victor. Although, upon careful consideration, the process won't help much in this case. Oi! Let me just... Get out of here, bastards! Unfortunately, that's impossible. You see, my friend and I have embarked on a sentimental journey. That's right. It takes us to our old stamping grounds. And we're having fun, just like we did in our childhood days. That crap makes my ears bleed. Let's not waste words, Victor. It's time to do the laundry. Chapter 2, The Pilgrim and the Poet Song.
Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There What are you joshing for? Nijits, this ain't your turf. Why the hell did you come here raising a stink? Get out of our way, plebeian. Wait, about it. Take a look at him. Doesn't he look like... Samson the Thug! The same beady eyes are straying in search of reason. What did you say? You look like a hothead from way back who stood in our way. Shall we do the same as we did with the other one? We're from the Franciscan Sisters to see the Honorable Mr. Kafar, whose generosity is widely known on both sides of the Vistula. We're collecting money for a wooden figure of Christ by the puppet maker Geppetto. We're going to raise money together once his oak limbs come to life. What? Is there such a puppet maker? Fuck, I can't keep my countenance like I used to. You can't talk to this idiot. I'll get you for this.
Kafari, you fucker. Njedzic, you snitch. You always drop in unannounced. Did you hear that? A lone shark calls me a snitch? The scumbag. Next time, I'll send you a note. I want you to stay the fuck away from my people, especially Max. And what are you going to do? I've got a reputation here. You'd best shut your trap and bark up a different tree. He's going to get his trap smacked. Let's get him. Listen, maybe this time we can use our heads. As it happens, Kafar has a small intoxicating secret. What do you mean? We're not going to shoot the scumbag. Then our sentimental journey won't be complete, and I will have to rewrite the final chapter. Kafar is afraid that his sugar smuggling will be exposed. He does it behind the manager's back. You've really impressed me now, Victor. Well, magic bitch. You're not so tough now, are you? And who's going to believe you, fancy boy? Get out of here. So how about we fuck him up? So what's your version of the story? Who cares? I didn't take you to have a conversation with him. The darkest place is under the candle. Your Max nicked something important from me to sell it himself. Sugar? How? Never mind. Yeah, Max wanted to sell right under Yejit's nose. By getting square with him, I'm doing you a favor. Shut your trap! Victor, I'm getting impatient. Fine, let's try your way. Like in the good old days. Aren't you a jumpy little rooster? You've got nothing on me, and Max has got to give me what he owes. All right, have it your way. Victor and I will be going now. Really? Fuck no! And now say goodbye to your teeth, darling. Chapter 3. The Pilgrim and the Poet Conquered.
Get the fuck out! Yeah, I bet you will. Victor, give me Satanisov's gun. There. Let the story come full circle. Say hello to Setsemin in hell. Who? <laughs> Look, Kafar left us some Aquavita. Then get it and let's get out of here. Let's go. We've earned ourselves a high-grade epilogue. <clears throat> well, this is what I call a happy ending. We beat up a few thugs, and we taught them a lesson. Well, if that was an evil deed, then the Tsarist government would have arranged war so differently. The Lone Shark is defeated, and justice prevails eventually. What a grand time. I had a ball. How about you? Likewise. Y you better tell me why it was my dad who swung for it, not us. Honestly. W we came back, Satanyuswav took you into his office for questioning, and then what? I can't remember. I was too scared. Father first yelled at me and then told me to pack. Do you think your old man was right to expel you? Now I understand that he mostly wanted to protect me and Nigia. There was nothing I could do about the choice he made. Fuck. He made a choice for me and my dad, too. Do you think your father would rather have had you go to jail? No, no. I can see what you mean. Even a bastard like Satanisov would protect his children at any cost. Never mind. Each of us had his share of suffering. And now, we're here drinking vodka as winners. Kings of life, lords of death. What are you going to do about Max? Nothing pleasant, that's all I can promise. He wanted to pull a fast one on me, but it ain't gonna happen. I have to admit that this is some quality vodka. Agreed. It burns the throat like the urge to sing sonnets. It hits the head like... inspiration. Tastes like Ruzitska. You know, the booze from the butcher's shop. I know, so it's kosher. Victor. What do you think about me? Really? Why do you ask all of a sudden? Stop hedging, you're pissing me off. I think you're my friend. What? You still trust me even after I had you kidnapped? Are you an idiot? I'm kidding. I'd follow you into a fire, brother. 
But don't tell it to my lads or they'll get jealous. But enough talking for now. Let's drink. To friendship, Victor. To being squared up. Got a permit? What permit? The river belongs to everyone, doesn't it? And who do you think stocks it, huh? You think five kilograms of bream just fell into the river? Pay the five ruble fine while I'm still in a good mood. You won't fool me. There have always been fish in the river, and there always will be. Anyone can fish. Fucking poacher! Butchering our fish. We will show you what it means to use the river responsibly. Lads, we got a poacher here. Get him!
Nothing can be kept secret from me. Secrets, not on my watch. That's not what I expected. The smell of evil suggestions and pure malice with a subtle hint of sulfur. I think I know who you are, Scamp. I bet a braggart just like you got your attention. I'll look for them before you lead them astray. Anybody there? I won't hurt you. Let's say two taps mean yes and one tap means no. Do you understand? I'll be back soon. Stay here. It's a joke. Take it easy. Are you still alive? Have you seen the perpetrators' faces? Do you know who they are? Does it have anything to do with a certain well-known Warsaw thug, Abauritze? Do you think this has something to do with the socialists? Was it someone local? How long have you been here? A day? Two? A week? More? Are you a harbor worker or a sailor? Do you know anything about the stolen arms shipment? Do you happen to be one of the gendarmes who escorted the convoy? 
You're lucky I've sent it to Wild Salita here. I'll find a way to get you out. Do we really have to? You know... Are you the underground heroes that half of Warsaw is looking for? You're the ones who took the Ruskies' arms? Edek, he knows everything. I'll tell you something. Maybe we can recruit him. Maybe he'll join us? Yeah, or maybe we can bribe him. Yemio, how many times do I have to tell you that you're not the boss yet? Stop calling me Edek. This isn't what you promised, Edic. No complications. And we'll live like kings, you said. I know what I said. There's no denying that you're to blame more than anyone. It was you who started it. Neither you nor Yemio is the mastermind here. No offense. All you need to do is report it to the police, and you can go home back to your wife. Actually, you're right. Can't you see what he's trying to do? He wants to drive a wedge between us. No, this isn't over. You saw what happened there. The coppers came with armored wagons. We can't run. We won't run. We'll take them by surprise, we'll give weapons to people, and we'll have some real fireworks for the police. First, we chase the Ruskies away from our neighborhood, then the town, and then... Who knows? Yemyo, you've got a gun, so watch this one. Let's go. Why me? I want to go too. You got to be a little savvy for this. Stay put, I said. Fine, I'll tell you something. But no tricks, alright? This is awkward. Could I step outside and take a leak? My bladder's about to burst. Sure, buddy. No way! You're not going anywhere. Edek forbade it. Edek doesn't like you, does he? He certainly doesn't respect you. And the other way around. All he can do is put you down. And if I say anything, he always turns it on its head. So he comes out on top. Does he often promise you things? All the time. And the others are eager to follow. It's like he infects them with his ideas. And now he told me to sit here with you. Edek is a real bastard to push you around like that. The way he treats you? Yeah, honestly, sometimes I feel like pasting him. Maybe there's a better way. Like what? He told you to stay put here like a dog and watch me. What do you think would upset him the most now? Let's think. If I didn't pay no mind to his command and let you go, he'd be mad, all right. Furious, even. It's what we want, isn't it? Uh. What would happen if that gendarme from the closet disappeared, too? I'll tell you something. I think Edic would burst into tears. Then let's do it your way, Yemyo. Thank you, and good job. I owe you, Thaumaturge. Lihotsky. Forget it. Shulsky. I like the way you outmaneuvered them. I'm surprised the army doesn't have more of you. I heard what those guys were planning. I must act. 
How come such morons pulled off something like that? The arms were on a barge with us. They came out of nowhere, and Edek somehow convinced the other gendarme to evacuate. He's very persuasive. Whenever there's any doubt, he takes charge and promises the Earth, and the others follow him. What do you intend to do? You heard what they said about the armored police wagons. The forces must have cut off ways out of the harbor. I know how many arms there were in the shipment. If Edek gives that away out there, there'll be a bloodbath. I need to call for reinforcements. Haven't you got enough? You've just got out of captivity. And from what you were saying, it might get nasty here. But duty? You've done enough here. Leave it to me. You owe me that. In the midst of all this, there's a demon that I'm chasing. I'm certain it impacts our demagogue, Edic. Suit yourself, Thaumaturge. Good luck. That's quite a shambles on your mug there. Who botched it up like that? Place yourself in my hands and we'll make it prime in no time. Let's do it. Soon the fancy boy will be set for philandering. Stay still once I start working my shank. If you trash like a fish, you'll mark my floor up. I see. We don't want to reenact the Fleet Street scenario here. The way I see it, it's pretty swell, isn't it? It does look swell. So, tell anyone you want that you are not getting a bot job here.
You have nowhere to run. Lay down your arms, and we might let you off lightly. Get the hell out, you czar's lackeys! Today, the harbor! Tomorrow, all of Warsaw! Sergeant, it's that magician. You're still here? You always show up before a riot. Emil, the idiot! He had one job! Don't get in our way! It's easy to captivate the crowd when you can promise them anything. The hard part is to deliver on those empty promises, isn't it? Empty? Look around you and see how many people stand behind me. And this is just the beginning. Etta captured the arms, and now we have a chance to drive the Ruskies off the harbor. And we'll prevail! And after you snatch away the harbor from the Tsar's power, what next? People! We're about to fight the first great battle that will change the course of this land's history! It will be the cue for a nationwide effort, and we'll inspire all the partitions to fight! But the harbor will be ours, right, Edic? First, we take the harbor, then Warsaw. And then we'll force the Tsar himself to negotiate! Sergeant, this is getting out of control. Let's get them, boys! People! What the foreign power has seized from us, we shall now recapture! Retreat! Retreat! Nazad! Nazad! For fuck's sake! Get lost, Russian bastards! It's our land now! Well, I promised, and I delivered. And if you're not with us, you're against us! That's enough. Krampus. The old spirit of Christmas who visits naughty children. Eric was a perfect tidbit for you. Time for you to choke on it.
Until Rasputin sees you. You two have a lot in common. Eric, Eric, I'll tell you something. There's another one. You let that smart guy go, Looney. Why the insults? Both of you, shut up. First of all, you're a fucking prick. All you ever do is push me around. Second of all, you promised God knows what, and what have you done? Look! Can't you see? Now that the harbor is ours, we will be... Um... Hum. Once the Ruskies regroup, there won't be a stone left standing. And it was you who got us into this. When I smack you, you'll see the fireworks all over again. Him and the magician, it's their fault. Get him!
I need to see Rasputin. Do you have a moment? For you, always. I need your help. Again. And I won't turn you down again. Do you see anything? Ow! The next trickster. Yes, this one is worse. Well, yes. Don't worry. He thinks he's playing with us. It's just an illusion. Come here. Enough joking around. 